Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next live attack video. And this is a Town Hall 10 base, kind of an anti two star type base. So hopefully, even though it's somewhat high level, uh, we can pull off the three star on it. And by the way, for those of you Town Hall 9s out there, uh, don't worry, gonna be have some more Town Hall 9 action tomorrow probably, because I know the last few videos have been Town Hall 10 oriented, but just have had some opportunities to show some great Town Hall 10 content. And I know you guys like seeing a live attack. So uh, we'll see how this ends up going. But let's talk about the plan. Um, basically, I'm going to try a bit of a mass bowler on this one. And this is somewhat similar to the ring base, but it's a little bit different. And I think because it's a little different, the bowlers will work a little better. Um, the core is not as easy to wreck with Valks because it's more segmented and you'd have to invest more spells on your Valks. They can't just kind of sweep through a core on the traditional ring base like you saw in the last base destruction video. And uh, I think you'll see in just a moment the bowlers will do a pretty good job on the core of this base without having to invest that many spells. So basically I'll start off with the plan. Uh, I'm going to drop a baby dragon down right here, take out probably these three buildings, and then uh, at the same time I'll drop one up. Uh, right on the side of that elix dark elixir drill. Uh, I need to get in here and take out these three buildings. Um, most importantly, that cannon. That's huge. So if the cannon doesn't go down because that air defense and possibly the archer tower might take it down, I might drop a bowler or two on this cannon just because it's very important it goes down for the funneling of my queen. So uh, hopefully that should go down and... Uh, once that's going on, the baby dragons are down. I'm going to drop a giant to tank real quick, wall breaker in, drop in six Valks. Their job is to get in there, take out the king, and take out probably this bunch of buildings right here to uh, create the funnel on one side. So similar to last video, we still have to create funnels for the bowlers to get them into the middle of the base. Um, so that should work out good there. The six Valks hopefully will be enough. I think they will be. Um, once they go in, as soon as they go in, I'm going to start off my queen right here and drop three healers. I do have four total, but I want to drop one healers directly on, one healer directly on the bowlers just in case the other three don't switch on. So uh, if the cannon's down, there won't be that much point defense. So I should only have to drop down three healers on her. And uh, if the funneling's right and this is taken out right here, uh, she should just walk her way to the left and... Once she takes out that wizard tower, I'll drop down my king to tank real quick and a few wall breakers to open that wall up. From there, the funnel should be perfect. So I'm going to drop in, uh, I think, like 12 bowlers plus my uh, CC of bowlers. Uh, so about 17 total, depending on if I use any for a funnel or something. The jump spell should work out fine because these buildings are a few tiles back. So the bowlers should be attracted to them when the jump goes down, but they will have to take the jump to actually uh, engage them, which should get them going in the right path. I have two free spells. So if I'm lucky, I might be able to freeze the CC troops as they come out. But if not, I have poisons for them anyway. And uh, this the, this clan has seemed to have a few witches, which would be awesome because uh, as long as it's not like a baby dragon or Valks or something that has more uh, splash damage in high DPS, uh, a witch would actually be great. So anyway, I'll drop down my freezes. Maybe if there's Teslas that pop, uh, just depending, probably like here and here, and I will rage everything up. Hopefully the healers will keep the, uh, the bowlers up and they won't hit any kind of huge giant bomb explosion. And if that all goes good, the Infernos should be some of the first buildings to go down because uh, I don't have a second jump. So they should take out uh, this entire layer of buildings. And at that point, my, I'm hoping there's enough healers left up that there's no rush on time because I'll actually be getting my troops healed up while they have to beat through walls because there will just be two expos really assuming the infernos go down all the other point defense is too far out of range so i'm intentionally going to have my troops kind of get stuck on the walls right here uh, just to let them get healed up hopefully and i hope that doesn't backfire so we'll see how that works out but that's basically the plan i have a second rage probably for this area but i might use it earlier depending on how it how things are going down so uh, i guess we'll just kind of see how this one shapes up yeah, I think I talked about everything I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and go into Clash of Clans. And uh, we'll go ahead and give this a shot. So make sure I have everything. Uh, the spells look good. Heroes. Uh, CC troops, obviously. And then... 
Yeah, I have a few balloons just for the back end of the base, which uh, should take out maybe a few distracted archer towers or cannons. Uh, just a good idea to bring, and I had the extra troop space. So anyway, we'll take a crack at this. Uh, I think this is a good plan, and uh, it looks like I have all my wall breakers and everything. So the base we're looking at is number eight. Looks like we just got a three star uh, by Pendragon. Okay, cool. What, what number was that? Oh, six. All right. So this war actually isn't the closest, but still, uh, we never know how it could shape up, especially because it's a bit of a smaller war, and we haven't been in one of those in a while. So uh, it's important that we have a, have a strong performance to ensure we get the victory. So uh, just uh, one last time, the two baby dragons to start, then the giant wall breakers, Valks, and... Uh, trying to space out here uh, and then if I need to I'll drop some boulders on that cannon hopefully I won't need to because that would waste some troop space but I think that's important otherwise my queen might head that direction and uh, once that goes down I'll drop her down and from there everything should just kind of play out how how it's planned so let's go ahead and give this a shot uh yeah everything's good let's get right into it okay let's get the baby dragon down up here first Boom, boom, and we'll see how that does later. Um, giant, one, two, three, four. Uh, one more, come on. There we go. Uh, one more bowler. Get it, get it, get it, man, get it. There you go. Okay, Valks did great. Let's get the queen going. Queen, one, two two three are you kidding me oh my god if, i mean it was it's funnier for some videos but this is just scary if i get like a bunch of group me notifications uh this could be the end of my attack i'm not going to tap near the top of the screen on purpose uh, i can't believe this is happening oh this is crazy uh anyway come on queen don't go through the wall oh, actually it's not that bad let's just get this stuff going uh that right there one two three Okay, we'll drop a wizard here also. There's the jump. Um, there's the rage. Freeze, freeze. Oh, is there going to be... That dragon's frozen, but it won't be frozen for long. Ah, this uh, that dragon might take out a lot of my bowlers. Come on, guys, get all that stuff taken out. Pop the queen's ability. Ah, that stupid drag. The queen just didn't go into the base. Uh, no, they all the healers are down? No, there's two of them left up. Oh, there goes another one to a seek near mine. I still have a healer I didn't even deploy. Oh, that sucks. I forgot that third. Yeah, I forgot that healer. Dang. All right. Um, we'll drop in these last uh, few balloons, but... Pretty much GG at this point. I guess uh, we can go ahead and scout, maybe get a giant bomb triggered with that wizard. Uh, but anyway, forgot the healer, and the healer was important because it was the safety valve. If the queen didn't meet up with the bowlers, I would still have at least one healer. And you can see there actually was some giant bombs that might have hit the bowlers. So even the one healer, especially under rage, can do quite a bit. So we'll take a look at this. Um... I don't know if, how many people were watching it. Okay, it's kind of a sarcastic, or maybe that's about his attack. Uh, but let's take a look at the replay and uh, see how things went down. Uh, basically, it started off very well. Um, the baby dragon up top, I didn't get a chance to see it, but it looks like it got pretty much everything except for that cannon. But only having to drop one, down one bowler on the cannon was uh, just fine with me. The Valks go in, get the, get the job done, take out the king, uh, take out all those uh, trash buildings in the area. So the Valks were cool, they got the job done, and uh, right there they go up and get those last few buildings they were touching. So things went pretty good. Uh, from there, the queen... I don't know. I thought she would she would target that cannon because you can see the cannon is close, but she would have to kind of turn the corner a little bit to reach it. So you'll see right here takes out the uh, the storage, and this is I think when the notification came up, or maybe a little earlier, which is actually not even funny. But actually, she left. It was before this, right here. Yeah, I mean, I guess that elixir pump pulled her uh, that that's kind of sketchy but i guess you know it is what it is uh the funnel's fine though i mean the queen 
it wasn't that she would needed to be with the kill squad that much she just the, the dragon in the cc and right here that one healer i didn't drop is going to cost me quite a bit because the yep right there bowlers boom and here go the freezes the bowlers should be getting healed up right now and actually one healer is on the bowlers i will give that one healer credit it did peel off onto the bowlers uh two healers would have been better but i think the main thing is that dragon was just relentless um the queen also would have helped uh, she could have sniped the infernos a little quicker let there be more bowlers left up and uh, things just kind of go crazy from there so uh i guess the lesson is you know bowlers are a difficult troop to predict the pathing i've talked about that in my last base destruction video but um i guess i didn't even follow my own advice here so you know sometimes bowlers will work on these types of bases but i guess in general maybe stick to bowlers on the more compact bases that have the small compartments you can kind of uh, predict how they'll walk through and uh, save these bases for different strategies maybe miners uh, i don't know we'll, you know uh, we'll see how this base gets cleaned up eventually you might see it in like a recap or something uh, but anyway i hope you guys like the video and uh, i should try to get redemption sometime in the future uh, against one of these Town Hall 10 anti two-star bases, which are really starting to annoy me lately, because I actually almost feel more comfortable attacking anti three-star bases, uh, like some of the ones in the last arranged war, but I guess that's just kind of what we're used to, and, uh, you know, sometimes these bases, even though they're not, have the most, they don't have the most thought put into them, sometimes they can be the, uh, the trickiest. So, uh, thanks for watching, hope you guys liked the video, like I said, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, probably with some Town Hall 9 content for those of you, uh, lower weight, uh, accounts. See you guys then, bisect the Toronto.